uh, greetings to to the members of uh, of the media ladies and uh, gentlemen yeah um, with all uh, with all due respect to to all the the remaining sides and and to all the teams that participated in in the competition i think uh, rightfully so and correctly as you've mentioned um the final before the final and uh, uh two very very good sides uh orlando pirates are a uh, are a strong opponent, extremely strong opponent, uh, with very, very good players um, and uh, players that offer uh, good weapons. As I as I always put, you know, when you profile uh, opponents, you you do some form of individual profiling, and of course, uh, you see that the characteristics of the side is is a team that has uh, very good speed. Uh, very good mobility, particularly in the attack, and uh, a lot of um, tactical flexibility in 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 the mobility of how they 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 operate. Um, and the last five games clearly show that uh, uh, it's a team that can can play a certain way, uh, particularly uh, in 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 uh, the Confed Cup, uh, where. They, they've been very dominant on the ball, both at home and away, and 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 of course that has has seen a, a huge improvement in their in their possession statistics. For an example, now they average about fifty four percent ball possession uh, per ninety, uh, whereas before uh, only with domestic competitions it's a little bit less. But the profile of the team is is still the same. It's a it's a team that's extremely dynamic. Uh, a team that um, not, not necessarily has a lot of possibilities to build from the back, but uh, has a lot of complications uh, on, on, on the left hand side. But yeah, good, a strong opponent once again, as I say, and uh, a strong opponent that's got very, very good players and, and has very strong um, tactical communication uh, in the sense that they, there's a lot of players that have been together for two, three seasons. and. And uh, the cohesion within within the the setup is is very very good. Good day or good afternoon, coach. I hope you are, and congratulations on the victory yesterday out in Eastern Cape. Uh, now, coach, I just Thank wanted so much, to uh, a bit of a zoom in in a sense of player or Primudiba, who yesterday had a fantastic game. I think uh, probably the first you know in in, in a Mamelodi Sundown shirt. I just wanted to find out, coach, how is he in terms of you know since being out at Sundowns in terms of. Uh, you know, comprehension of, of, of tactics, also uh, his understanding with his fellow teammates. What type of a person is he? And has it been uh, difficult for him, you know, to adjust to Sundowns because the demands at that club are absolutely massive. So uh, what type of a player is the comprehension of information, tactics and so forth and his, you know, socialism with, with the players? Thank you. Good question. Thanks, Karabo. <clears throat> yeah, Obs, Obs is, a, is, a, is, a, is a very good person. Uh, He's got very good human qualities, and it's important when you're at Sundowns to 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 possess good human uh, qualities. Uh, um, we all know about his his ability. Uh, we know how 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 good he is on the ball. His relationship with the ball is very good. He's got a very good left foot, and and even in open play, one on one situations, both defensive and offensive, he's he's extremely strong. Um, because his, 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 his background is uh, as a player that came from the School of Excellence, uh, playing at, at uh, left back. And he's got a lot of experience even at the highest level playing there. And even though he's uh, moved and, and transformed a little bit, uh, particularly recent uh, seasons where he's played in more offensive uh, positions. But the reality is he's a, he's a player that's got a lot of balance, uh, makes good contributions to the team in, in the offensive uh, schemes, in the defensive schemes, and, and even on set pieces, he's got uh, a big, big, big uh, contribution. But very good, uh, as, as uh, very good characteristics uh, in terms of his personality and uh, uh, apart from, from uh, the technical profile. From, from that perspective, he's, he's a very smart, very smart kid, very humble kid and very selfless, uh, makes good contributions to, to the group in the change room. 
Um, hi, Coach. Uh, if I can just squeeze in two questions there. One, just being an update on 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 Serino. Um, obviously, the club just issued statement with the players that are injured. So maybe not just necessarily just Serino, but even the ones that have been um, unavailable, that were unavailable for yesterday's game. And then secondly, I think not, not since January was, was your fixture schedule this crazy. I mean, I, th I think if I look at up until the end of April, if you do beat Pirates, then obviously you play again on Sunday, then there's Amazulu, then there's Kaiser Chiefs after that. So I think it's, you know, four games in a, in a short space of time. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, insinu the insinuation is that you should be able to handle it because of, of, of the quality of your squad and the numbers in the squad. Just your thoughts on, 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 on that. Yeah, top, top, top question, uh, Mazola. Um, let me start with, with the injury update. Look, we, 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 we've just arrived. We've got what we, what we call a regen session and a top-up session for some of the other players. So um, we will see after the session, the doctors will, uh, will examine the players and, and give us a report. So I think at this moment in time, everything is, is still within the medical department. And let's see how they cope with the, the regen top-up session today. Um, and unfortunately, I can't be able to give a, a precise and accurate update uh, apart from, from, from saying that um, they, they are on their way back. Uh, Kermit is on his way back, still not, still not at full fitness, still not participating in full uh, activities in the training, but um, has, has, has completed his return to train uh, protocol which is a process in itself and, and, and now needs to be cleared from the medical department to, to, to the return to play uh, process. And, and, and there's always these stages. So he's ticked one box and we just await uh, to see whether or not he can complete a, co a full session without any form of complications uh, from, from a muscular perspective. Uh, Kemet, yeah, it's, it's a few issues, but let's see, they'll assess him. Um, we need the full complement of our squad. The, the, and, 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 and the reality is this, this ties in with, with your, quest, your second question, because uh, it's impossible, extremely impossible to, 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 to compete. And I use the word compete loosely because the reality is that sundowns we don't compete we have to dominate we have to dominate every match we have to dominate every competition we don't compete uh, for an example uh, if you compare pirates and, and sundowns program uh, in 30 days pirates have played the last uh, five matches uh, with uh, with uh, only one um, uh, one away match in the last in the last uh, four four matches and, and I mean I mean for an example in April we've played four matches and they've only played two so so you can already see that even when we go into the next match this will be match number three for us and this will be match number two for Pirates in seven days so from a physiological perspective of course. There's a huge demand uh, within our of our program, and um, uh, it's one team that uh, has a, a huge physiological advantage against another team that's got a huge uh, physiological strain in terms of uh, the the overload, and um, and that is 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 in relation to to the program that we have. So it's not it's not always easy to be at Sundowns, but the reality is as we always put it heavy is the head that carries the crown and uh, the privilege of of being at Sundowns, winning things competing um, comes with the with the burden of of not spending a lot of time with your families being on the road and and uh, we can't we certainly can't uh, go into into this program without doing a lot of rotation and uh, and uh, a full complement of our squad. Coach, just to write a, a bit on that question. Uh, yesterday, Coach Mankoba said it was unfortunate to not give uh, Villa and Lompour some game time yesterday, considering the pressure they're putting on the, the starters. 
is it good to have fringe players doing that at the moment where it gives you a bit of a headache on who to select? Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, with, with the profile of the players that we have. I mean, a lot of teams speak about depth. We speak about uh, qualitative depth. We've got, we, we don't just have numbers. We have, we have uh, very good options in our, in our squad and, and we need that at the moment. We need the full complement of the players. And, and we are fortunate enough that uh, particularly with the CAF games, uh, we used that opportunity to, to try to fast track uh, the physical condition of some of the players and uh, hence we, we we tried to prepare a lot of these players like Aubrey Modiba, uh, Villagazi, uh, Ricardo Goss, uh, because because we are just in that space, Brian Onyango, uh, Ricardo Nascimento. These are the players that we've tried to, to, to use and give opportunities to, particularly because of uh, of the matches that we we had in in, in the Champions League in in the group stages that allowed us this opportunity to to give them uh, match minutes competitive match minutes under extreme pressure uh, to fast track the condition but it's uh, it's not always cut and paste you know it's uh, it's uh, it's a it's a it's a possibility it's a, it's an, a very good opportunity but the the outcome is 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 always also very very important uh, and and we've seen how well some of the players have responded not just Villa but Shompo uh, Kekana the skipper has, has has used that opportunity also to put himself in into contention and and we need we need everybody we we cannot go through this program I mean uh, Mazola earlier alluded to to us having um, a very difficult schedule for the next eleven days in eleven days. We will have within the next 11 days we've got four matches in 11 days we just come back from a situation where in seven days we've had uh we've had um uh, four matches three matches in the last seven and and even with that you've you've covered almost the entire entire country where you've been to 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 the extreme north with uh, with ttm in polokwane and now you just come back from uh, the south in 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 uh, in uh, east london so uh, apart from the text that comes from the applying yourself physically uh, from a, from a conditioning perspective on the pitch and that's got also psychological implications because all our games are, are cup finals and games of consequence there's also uh, this psychological fatigue that can easily creep in uh, and then the traveling of course uh, also plays a huge role so we need everybody it's going to be a very difficult month for us uh, but but we've fortunately we've got enough uh, we've got enough numbers within and quality in the numbers uh, within our squad to be able to to see through the program. Uh, I coach. I coach. coach. And um, I just want to touch on Peter Shalalili. Uh, he's played over two thousand minutes uh, across twenty six games in all competition. It seems like if he starts, if he's fit, if he's not suspended, he's on the score sheet. 14 goals, six assists already in his first season. Uh, for a coach like yourself and along like Aman Boba and uh, Steve Mopela, what is it like working with such a player? Um, what is his mentality like? And um, surely his name must be first on the, on the, on the team sheet if he's fit or... For, for any match right now, it's given that he finds himself in the right space, specifically speaking to yesterday's match where he scored the winner. So what is it like working alongside him and getting inside his head? Thanks. Thanks, thanks, Tashrik. Uh, the, the, the point of correction, the first name on the team sheet is Mamelodi Sundance's name. Uh, we, put, we put that name first because otherwise we, we may as well um, um, yeah, but anyway, um, no, Peter, Peter is a top professional. Uh, um, uh, you run out of uh, superlatives when you, when you want to describe uh, Peter's character. Uh, and I remember having a, a discussion with uh, Ellen Fries uh, just, just prior to Peter coming to us and, uh, and uh, Fries's words were, he will die for you guys on the pitch. He, he, he's not just a player that, uh, uh, that gives his all and and uh, sweats on the pitch, but he's a player that is 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 prepared to sweat blood, 
and um, if that is not enough, is a player that is always prepared to 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 leave a piece of his skin on on the pitch um, for for the cause uh, and the common cause of 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 of, of the team. And he's uh, he's one that we are really 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 fortunate to have. It humbles us to have players like Peter Shalulile because. Uh, when you have him on the pitch, what he does do is he injects a lot of energy uh, into 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 our game. He injects a lot of intensity into our game, and that's important because uh, for a team that presses from the top, uh, it's important that with the strikers that uh, that we have, uh, we need we need not just uh, tactical direction uh, with our high press, but we also need. An injection of, of speed and aggression, and and and, and of course, then uh, that allows uh, everybody else to 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 also understand the triggers of 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 our press without a lot of um, uh, uh, communication or or um, the word I want to use is is, is synchronization. That we 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 are in sync when we we have Peter, you know, because uh, he's, he's he initiates the press. But he initiates the press without a lot of talking. He's, he's, he triggers it by by directing it tactically, of course, because there are certain uh, pressing targets that we always have in every opponent. Uh, but at the same time, he he also injects the intensity and the and the aggression into our press, and, and very very important. But apart from that, of course, uh, a player that is liked uh, extremely by his teammates, uh, a player that is trusted extremely by his teammates. Uh, and uh, a player that has uh, a lot of humility, but but the humility is is a humility that also has a lot of self belief and um, good. It's the profile of of of, of a Mamelodi Sundowns player, and I think uh, uh, what Peter does uh, this season um, for Sundowns is even to to direct the the blueprint of of the future Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, striker and 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 that gives us uh, the opportunity to 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 what when creating a blueprint for for the academy and and for our scouts uh peter shalulile is giving a, a different directive as to the profile of of a mamelodi sundown striker uh coach we we spoke to to runner pirate uh, coach uh, earlier on joseph zimbabwe who said uh the sundowns is is well you are the favorites for this encounter well possibly might be man games uh, possibly uh, now coach i just wanted to find out because most of the of your games if not all of them you go into the game being favorites uh now it has you know it has gone beyond the borders of the of south africa so now the question is how do you guys help the players mentally for them to understand that they are now hot shot favorites in almost all the matches? Is it a case of you know speaking to psychologists of the club? Do you guys sit them down and make them understand the pressure of playing for Sundowns because it can be damning that each and every single game they play on they have got to win it. So how do you guys help the players to you know to 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 understand the pressure and go out there without so much pressure but to try and win each and every game? Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 I'd like not to to respond to 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 Joseph Zimbabwe's comments because at uh, least I uh, I am misinterpreted. But the 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 facts the facts are on the pitch. Uh, the facts are uh, if you look at the two teams at this moment in time, it's clear which one goes into into Thursday's match fresher than the other. Uh, I've I've made uh, a big reference to what has be, what is behind. If you look at our last games, we've played uh, the last five games only in the space of April. They've played uh, five games in thirty days. We've played in twenty days. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course, then that already alludes to what we have. The immediate uh, focus is. If you look at the last seven days, Pirates will be playing their second match. We'll be playing our third match. So if there is any form of advantage, I would think that Pirates have a huge advantage, a huge, huge advantage, even uh, in relation to the previous fixture Pirates played on, uh, on Sunday. They have uh, immediately yesterday they were they they had what we call uh, an invisible session, which is 
uh, recoup, regen, massages, uh, and 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 everything else to 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 freshen the squad up and the players up. And and while they were recovering, we were we were playing. Uh, and forty eight hours after they had re- they had recovered, which is today, which is match day minus two, we are we are traveling and we've just landed. So. Um, it is for it is for you as the journalists to 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 see who who goes into the fixture on Thursday with uh, with the advantage and and when you do have advantages then um, uh, it's very difficult to to be the underdog when you've got an advantage going into the tie uh, it could be it could be physical it could be uh, from a technical tactical perspective but. It is what it is, and 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 it has a huge it has a huge influence on on the performances of both teams. But we are not complaining. Uh, we understand that pressure is a privilege. We understand that uh, we are at Mamelodi Sundowns, and as I said, at Mamelodi Sundowns, we don't compete. We have to dominate. And uh, when the players came to the club and were offered contracts by the club. They knew the the responsibility that came. They knew the 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 schedule, and it's not always easy. And 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 you can still see how difficult it is for players like Roshin, who are used to maybe playing one one match per week, but now have got to transition into being consistent and performing extremely well every two or three days, uh, and and helping the team to 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 perform. And the same goes with Peter Shalulile. So. We give time to these players to 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 transform and to to settle a little bit, but the best way to settle is 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 by performances and and and, and good performances and the team winning because uh, the adaptation period can only be fast tracked when there's confidence and confidence comes from being on the pitch and, and and contributing to the success of the team. So, yeah, it is what it is, and. Uh, our our way of working is 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 always to to focus on on the psychological aspects. We are we are we work uh, on all factors of performance, technical, tactical, but the psychological, particularly at the highest level of of of, of football. You could go into Europe. Um, the biggest the the biggest advantage that top 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 players have that separates them from the rest is is uh, their psychological makeup, uh, their desire, their commitment. Uh, because those are the things that allow them to be more consistent uh, and and to perform at the best and and assist the team to 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 achieve its objectives and 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 that responsibility is a responsibility that's given to only a few only a few um, and 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 as 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 we say also you know uh, we are all called yet few are chosen and the chosen few have have a, have got to carry the the burden the pressure. Of of being chosen and 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 it only comes with the uh, it only comes with the um, the space that we operate in. We operate at Mamelodi Sundowns. There's a lot of prestige, glamour that comes with being at Mamelodi Sundowns. But uh, uh, heavy is the head that carries the crown, and and with all of that comes a lot of pressure. Coach, uh, I I don't know if you'd agree with this note because obviously coaches see the games uh, you know a bit different to what we see, but. The, your last game against Pirates in January, you know, you know, it wasn't it wasn't uh, easy on the eye, um, and I think obviously having been at Sundowns and you know, at Pirates, you you know the reaction when 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 the <clears throat> when the football is not easy on on the eye. Um, mm-hmm. My question is, I mean, given the profile and the quality in the in both sides, you know, it, aren't you know aren't we perhaps maybe Ex, should be expecting a, a little bit more, or it just depends on 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 um, f- lack of a better word the 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 occasion or the stage of of the season, so to speak. Good question. Uh, I I think I think sometimes the games between Mamelodi Sundowns and Pirates are uh, are not necessarily always the best games. I mean. Uh, I've been fortunate enough, as you said, that uh, I've sat on both sides of the benches, and I, I can recall maybe one or two. Maybe the game in 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 Orlando is Mamelodi Sundowns one uh, three one, was a very good game. Um, the game at Loftus where Pirates beat Sundowns three one, Memela scoring 
uh, in the second half and transition was uh, was one of the, the the best games also. Uh, but the previous one, yeah, rightfully might not have been from a from a from a spectacle perspective, uh, might not be one with a, a lot to write home about. But I think I think what you do get from Pirates and and and, and uh, Sundowns is you 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 know that it's two teams, of course maybe with two different profiles, but it's two very good teams who qualitatively there's not much between the two sides. Uh, in terms of the profile of the players, uh, Pirates are extremely strong uh, with very, very good players. Uh, the left-hand side is, is one of their strongest uh, computer. Uh, Marco is, is uh, dynamic and, and gives so much versatility, not just with the overlaps, but gives a lot of movements. Uh, and as I say, that, that's what creates this complication that you find with Orlando Pirates where he underlaps at times. And, and when he underlaps, they've used either Vincent Pule or, or Gaba uh, to be able to, to take wing play. And, and then the dynamics are completely different because with Gaba, you know that he's going to cut inside onto his right foot. But with Vinny, you know that he's going to stay on the line and, and deliver a cross. But at times, uh, Vinny also uh, comes inside and overload in, in, in the half space if, if, if uh, Marco keeps, keeps uh, the width from a, from a build-up perspective. Uh, he only goes a little bit higher up the pitch when Ben takes the half space. And when Ben Mozzarella takes the half space, they use, they use Ben to, to progress into the midfield from the left-hand side because uh, it's very seldom that they use a, a left-footed center half. Uh, only against Kaiser Chiefs recently in the derby, they used the uh, Eno in that position, but uh, normally it's a Nyawuza, it's a happy jelly in that space if Nyawuza is not playing at, uh, at right back. And, and then they use, they use a central midfielder who's a little bit in front of the last line. And then you've got very little risk of turning over possession because then with, with the midfielder, uh, you, if, even if the ball is turned over, you've still got cover of the, of the center half rather than that the right foot uh, of, of the center half to progress the ball into the midfield. And, and then you've got the, the complication of, of a left-footed uh, Dion Hotto that also takes wing play on the left and, and that's how they create their overload. So it's a, it's a team that's got, it's got that, uh, that uh, tactical uh, element to it because they're central midfielders that take the half space. They are, they are movements from, from, from computer that come inside, come outside, Vini overloads inside, outside. Gaba can play up front in 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 a three in a, in a, in a situation where maybe sometimes like they've used recently with this false nine uh, of uh, Linda Tambo or or even Dion Hotto at times playing and leading the line and then you've got a Fortune Makaringe who who's the furthest furthest midfielder coming in with dribbles uh, coming in with possibilities to overload and shoot from outside the box so you've got to be able to, to deal with Maestro, Ma Maestro as well as you possibly can to control his influence. So it's a, it's a complicated team. And the data also suggests that one, when you profile Orlando Pirates, you profile them as a, as a team that says to you, when you are in possession of the ball, you, you, they are more dangerous. Yeah. Normally in modern football, the team that, uh, that's got possession is, is the one that is uh, the instigator, the, the one that has better possibilities. But when you play against Orlando Pirates, the more you're on the ball, the more dangerous Orlando Pirates become because they take uh, a shorter period to, to arrive in, in your box. They wait for you to, to make mistakes, to turn over possession. And, 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 and when you even look at the data, Pirates uh, in comparison to Sundowns, I think Sundowns, we take 110 seconds to get into, into, into the opposition's final third and, and create box entries. Pirates take around 90 seconds to, to do that. Very quick transitional team. Uh, the number of passes is, 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 is also the same. I mean, uh, Pirates have around 32 passes before they get into, 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 into the opposition box. Uh, whereas we take uh, even more than that. We, we've, we've got possibilities to, to go even longer for 39, 40 passes before we, we enter the opposition. So the data also suggests and, and, and promotes the profile of, 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 of both sides. And they are interesting games. So from a tactical matchup, although qualitatively in terms of the profile of the players, uh, you know that there's some very, very good players. And 
and uh, tactically the profile of the team the team teams is is completely different one possession oriented and the other extremely transitional and uh, is i can give you the the orlando pirates lineup i think you we all know more or less who would play except the conundrum of 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 the good performances uh, against al ahli of uh, of mabasa who's who's back uh, and kb who's who's who, who did well and scored uh, in the 3 nil win uh, that's the biggest conundrum possibly for them but you know that there's uh, there's big possibilities of either Ndlovu playing right back or Nyawuza playing right back and with Nyawuza it's more of a back three than it is a, a back four because with Ndlovu there's a lot more uh, ad adventure there's a lot more forays offensively uh, happy Jele Tyson um, and if Nyawuza is not playing center half he's he's, he's playing right back and then, of course, Baseka computer is the first on the team sheet. Monari central midfield, Ben Mutsuara central midfield, Maestro as 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 their ten, uh, Vini uh, in that space, and uh, and then and then there's there's the last two positions that uh, are either for Gaba or either for Hotto or either for uh, Cabello Zamini or even uh, Piano uh, Ulinda Ulinda Mtambo. So let's see. But but we know more or less uh, the lineup of 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 of, of Orlando Pirates, and unfortunately we are we are also clued up on on some of the schemes, and should be a very good game on Thursday. It's a pity it's a pity that a spectacle like that doesn't have supporters. To be honest, so it's it's probably the only disappointment. But it should be a very good game. Um, hi hi coach, Isaac Heller. Yeah, coach. I mean, um, yesterday, um, Dennis Onyang um, announced his retirement from international football. Um, as a team, how do you take that now? He's going to be fully focused on, on, on team activities. Fortunately, I've, I've been privy, privy to, to, to the news prior to, to Dennis speaking about them because I think uh, the type of person that Dennis is, he's, uh, he's one that engages and, 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 and does uh, that with a lot of respect and appreciation for for the opinions of of the people close to his circle. Uh, Dennis knows what I think about the retirement, um, uh, but I think the club will will probably issue out a statement and uh, uh, and 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 maybe only after the club has issued out a statement can we be in a position to to comment and respond. Um, an icon, um, huge influence in his country, not just from a football perspective, but also politically. Uh, and it's a pity uh, that uh, circumstances have, have forced him to, 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 in what I consider early retirement, but uh, Dennis, Dennis knows my opinion. And um, uh, if he decides to share it, then then it's for him to share it. But I've given him my opinion, and I'd, and I'd like it to stay between myself and him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think I think Rob had a question, but I think he's sorted. He's lowered his hand, so yeah, we're gonna end it there. Thank you very much, Coach, and uh, all the best for Thursday. Thank you so much, Fatou, and thank you so much to all the members of the media. I, I see hands, but I, I can't facilitate the, the conference. <laughs> thank you. We're going to end it there. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Pedro. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Thank you.